Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and did you know that Kobo has an ebook app for Windows 10? Uh, works with x86 and ARM devices, so it's primarily geared towards tablets and two-in-ones and laptops and things like that, um, especially laptops with touch screens, uh, so you could easily read uh, using an app that's customized for that. Uh, 639 reviews, solid four-star rating, you can see here that this is pretty well what it, the system requirements for, you know, available on HoloLens, PC, mobile device, Surface Hubs, and so on. Uh, when you install the app and log in either with Facebook or your Kobo account, you'll be greeted by this first page. So recent pages, these are, you know, books that you've read recently. Recommendations, this is just a demo account we use so that we don't really have too many books on here. Top 50, see more. New releases, see more. Hey, let's check out new releases. So, loads pretty quick for new releases. And let's uh, click on a book. And it's taking longer for the book to load. Okay, so this is uh, the book here. As you can see that you can download a preview to your library. It gives you a small synopsis, but you can click here to see the full one. You can buy now. Recent books. How uh, they've been rated. So this book only has like two reviews. Uh, who it was, you know, publisher, published date, and so on. So it was, this book was released pretty quickly. Um, so that's the store and you click on the back arrow here to kind of go back a page. Uh, let's check out with the UI. So it's, it's really not much to it. You click here, home, library, recommended and store. The bottom here, shopping cart, sync. So if you've made purchases on your Kobo e-reader or via dedicated Kobo apps and you want to refresh this with the, you know, up to the date data, you can do that. Settings, basically, manage downloads, radar app, not really too much to it, super points and so on. So this is the actual, the, the sample that I uh, have downloaded and we can click on that. Okay, so this is a book. This is what it looks like. As you can see that there's no UI. It's very, very clean. And so this looks great on laptops and tablets and things like that. If you click on the center of the screen, either via a right click, you can jump between chapters. You can click here for themes. So sepia, night, or day mode. Text alignment, whether you want publisher's defaults, or whether you want it a different way. Page layouts, you can do it on a one page or a two page spread. So this is uh, one page, this is two page. It sort of depends on, on your ideal reading conditions. I like on a PC at least reading uh, with one here. You can adjust the font size and it happens live on the page. You can select the font type, whether you want the publisher's default or a different one and three dots, which is basically lock rotation if your device has a gyroscope, whether you want tips and tricks to appear. So this is the tips and tricks. How do you get around? So you can tap here to make like uh, a bookmark. Click at the bottom to bring up the chapters. Now, as you can see that there's no really notification here that there is any sort of page turns. It works with swipes and gestures if you have a touch screen, but if you're on a computer, you just click here. Uh, it has no way to do highlights. It just brings this menu up. No way to really do annotations, uh, look words up in the dictionary. This doesn't have any of that type of stuff. This is just a dedicated ebook reading software. So for that, there's really not a lot to get into. Uh, if you're at a computer, anywhere you click, that's what you bring up. You can't turn pages by uh, gesturing up and down, even just clips me with the mouse wheel doing it. it. Basically, the only way that you can do it's that way. And it has no animated page turns or options to give you animated page turns. So this has been a review of the Kobo ebook app uh, for, you know, uh, Windows 10. 
and this is what you can expect if you download this app from the Windows Store. For GoodyReader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care. <laughs>